Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here for your love reading. This is going to be a reading for Saggy, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Or if you have a large Sag placement in your natal birth chart. And we are going to be looking at new love that's coming in here for you. So very excited to see who's coming up for you, Sag. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, and we'll get into this and see what's coming up, Sagittarius. Okay, wow, strong Scorpio, someone from the past. I'm getting strong X vibes. I'm getting someone you have a history with. There is a second chance, someone who wants, is basically begging, praying, hoping, wishing for another chance with you. Could be around a Scorpio, as I said, but I feel like I'm... Um, yeah, it's a very strong energy. Horses are very strong and steadfast, yeah? So someone from the past has been thinking about you a lot and keeps revisiting what you had. It's almost like they've been reflecting on what you both could do differently. And I feel like the white rose is like surrendering its purity. So there's someone who I feel like is about to reach out or wants to reach out and reconnect with you. It could be around the time of Scorpio as well. Let's see. Okay, we've got a Virgo, the Hermit. Definitely someone who has been thinking about you, okay, reflecting, overanalyzing. Their desperation is growing and growing here, Sag. So knights are desperate to take action. They're desperate to make changes and rectify things. Okay, wow, this is someone you had a very complicated relationship with. It was a lot of drama and I'm getting a lot of other people that intervened in what you had doesn't even have to be someone you dated for very long. It is someone in your past. And I feel like it was a messy relationship, Sag. It was messy. People got involved. People's opinions shaped what you thought, shaped how you perceived things. Um, there was a lot of neglect in this relationship here. It could also be an Aries coming through. Um, but it's the one person that taught you a lot. And I don't think they're done teaching you here. But look, there's potential. Eight of Cups is like you both had to walk away for a reason. It might have been that this person moved or even re uh, relocated elsewhere. And they might be coming back, okay, to where you live, to your city, state, country. They might be coming back into the picture here. Okay, it could be an expat or someone foreign. But the Eight of Cups, metaphorically, right, is finding one's truth, finding oneself. So I think the universe parted you so you both could find something within yourself that wasn't here in this relationship and maybe you tried to fill that void with it right companionship love company affection not being alone but you've been apart and i think you've seen the world in different aspects but the emperor tells me they had this person had a really big influence on you and you two on them I don't think they're connected with anyone. The emperor is without his empress, the king without his queen, and the Virgo, a figure of solitude. They've been working on themselves or they might've been single ever since you parted ways. They might not have been involved in a relationship again because they just didn't have the energy Sag or maybe just no one could compare to you to them you're coming up as the knight of wands so the knight of wands is busy doing things seeing things so i feel like they tried to reach out to you before and maybe you said you were busy or you've been busy living life since this relationship but this person has kind of stood still it's been very different for them you've been busy you're coming up as the king, you're coming up as the knight, you're coming up as the um, five of wands. It could be someone you turned your back on because you're facing the other way. And like this person is facing you, thinking about you. So I think right now, as things are presently, they're going to be chasing you or they want you more than you want them right now. But that could change. But you still have feelings here, Sag, whether you're aware of it or not. The death can be subconscious energy you are looking back to the left the left is the past so Sag there's a part of you whether you've dealt with this or not that's either thought about this person in some capacity you've dreamt about them 
there's something here that still lingers. There's feelings that very much still linger here for the both of you. But I think you're going to surprise yourself in the way you feel because it's, it's more. You know, it's, you're, you're feeling it more than you thought you would is what I'm getting. And you're going to really surprise yourself there. Um, but yeah, look, I think they've been alone. I think they've been doing their own thing. They could be, um, they could have done a bit of travel. Um, I get travel or the travel industry connected to this person. They could also be an entrepreneur because the Virgo does his own thing, right? Um, his own designs, his own creations, his own thoughts. So they could have their own business. It could be someone that's sort of been building up their own thing. I also feel like it's someone who could be involved in charities um, or acts of kindness. Could also be like um, they could work with finance or uh, financial institutions or banks or something here. The Emperor is quite, I mean, it's a big company or they're destined to have something very successful that they build up themselves. The emperor owns his empire. So I'm getting this as someone who is working towards building an empire, possibly even want to build an empire with you. I see some of you, if you hook back up together, you could be going into business. The choice is going to be yours, Sag, though, whether you want this person or not, and whether you think something can come from this. I think it's really going to be dependent on you and where you're at. Like I said, I'm getting someone's traveling out to the other to reconnect. They might come back to where you are to visit you. You might drive out to see them. There's, it's someone here for some of you that's, uh, that's a little bit further away geographically, but they are coming forward. Okay, I'm getting a few travel energy kind of searching towards each other. Or well, they might just pop up and be like, hey, I'm in your city. Remember me? Are you around? Um, but they're eager. Like I said, their, their desperation and their eagerness to reconnect with you is growing day by day. I think there's a lot that's reminding them of you. But you are their light. You, the shining star that you are, he's Sag. You know, you're so fun to be around. And I just think when you left, the light in their life kind of left. And I know that might sound a bit cringy, but I just think they're searching for it again. It's been night. Okay, look, we've got a moon here. We've got parts of the light, the Star of David. We've got the moon here, uh, the sun rising, um, rising or dawning. But what's, what's, what's come over them is the night. And the moon can speak about, it is cancer energy, um, but cancer, cancers tend to whip a dead horse. Cancers live in the past. So I feel like since you've been gone, they've lived in the past here. Um, the moon is also creative. So they might've done like, they might've written about your relationship. They might've put it in a painting. They might've used that as an outlet to deal with the ending of this or to deal with that, having you in their life. So it might be someone that hasn't done too well emotionally, but like I said, they might have channeled all of this into work. So I am getting someone who's quite ambitious and hardworking that's coming forward. It could very much be someone around your age or someone who's older. The Virgo can be someone older, wiser, more life learned, um, or someone you had an age gap with, but it's quite a substantial age gap um, is what I'm getting. But because look at these, they're, they're older, they're figure, but it could, you know, even if they're not older, it doesn't have to be literal. When someone's older, we, we take on that they have more experience, that they've learned a lot. So I feel like in this time of not being connected, they might have done a lot of growth, especially channeling their emotions, I think was a big thing for them. Okay, and if this is not an ex, I think with the death card, they may have had a big, big loss in their life. It doesn't always have to be a passing. The death can be like an old way of life dying, an old 
way of habits, um, transformation, um, and it can even point to the pa a past life. How could I forget? So this could be someone that you were romantically romantically connected to in a past life, and you're reconnecting now. And what I've described here might be something you sort of lived out before in a different lifetime. So for some of you with like a past life connection, and you'll feel like they're guiding you, this person will come forward and they'll guide you. They'll almost feel like a motherly, fatherly figure to you. Not in a sick, incestuous way, Sag. So before you jump there, it's it's in a it's in a very guiding, nurturing, they really care about you way. And that's because they've cared for you before. They've looked after you before. So it's interesting that these tendencies will um, replay themselves and you'll see that when you come back um, into this connection. So you'll have to let me know how that goes, but I am going to leave it there. So thank you for watching everyone. It really does mean a lot. All the best and we'll chat soon. Bye for now.